everyone good night and welcome to my channel i will be looking at the ways and, and, and means and, and showing you the changes to the english b paper and also the changes that have been made to the english a paper for the cxc exams which is basically the english language and literature papers um you need to be careful of the changes that have been made so check the changes to the structure of the english b paper and as the year progresses we'll get into analyzing poems and the short stories and the set text that will also help you further to pass the exams stay with me please subscribe like and share and stay tuned to this channel now thank you so much for stopping by the school year has almost started and many of you will want a head start on the English B and English A exams. Please note that there are changes to the syllabus since June 2018, and as such, early knowledge and preparation for the exam will help to reduce the challenges and the anxiety that you may face later. Stay tuned for more, as my channel will look at the different ways to help you to pass the English A and B CSEC exams, and it will also delve into analysis of poems, plays, and short stories that will guide you through your classes. Now the format of the CSEC examination for English B comprises of three papers. There is a paper one, there is a paper two, there is a paper 031 or the paper 032. Now the latter two papers, the 031 and the 032 are basically the SBAs. And as time progresses, I'll go into details on how to do the SBAs for the English A or English B exam. But for this video in particular, I just want to tell you the, the basic changes that have been made to the exam papers. Now papers one and two are assessed externally. Paper 031 is a school-based assessment, and this is assessed internally by the teacher and also moderated by CXC. Paper 0 0.3 is an alternative to the SBA, and it is intended for candidates registered as private candidates. The English literature syllabus starts in grade 10, as you all know, and it ends in the third term of grade 11. The information that is given here relates to the 2018 to 2023 syllabus. Now for further information, you can go to www.cxc.org. English B, or literature, paper one. The paper is set for one hour and 45 minutes, which has been changed significantly from the one hour and 30 minutes because in earlier years, there were short answers to the paper one. But in this new paper one that CXC has, you find that there are multiple choices instead. Now the paper one is worth 29% of the total assessment, which has been changed from 36%. All questions are compulsory here. It consists of three comprehensions, but the difference now is that the answers are set, or will you answer based on multiple choice questions. Possible types of comprehensions here include the drama, poetry, prose. There are five to seven questions on each comprehension, and each comprehension is worth 20 marks, which gives you a total of 60 marks. The English B Paper 2. The duration of the exam is 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now, there are 10 minutes added here. It is worth 50% of the total assessment, which is a change from the original 64%. Section 1 in particular is different. It examines one Shakespeare and drama, as was before, and one modern drama. Now, there are only two questions to this section, which is changed from four questions. One question will come from the Shakespearean text and one from the modern drama. You will only be expected to do one of these two questions under section one. And this question is worth 35 marks. Section two. Section two examines poems from the selection of 20 poems that you have studied. This section has two questions. One question is generic or based on poems from the student's choice, that is from the selection. One question will give you the names of two poems that you are to compare. Either way, the section on poetry is a comparison. You have to compare both poems, either the two that you have selected in the generic question or the two that you are given. Now, this has not changed and this is similar to the years gone by. Answer one question here. The type of question is a type B, meaning that you are expected to compare two poems and each question is worth 35 marks. Section C now 
is also different. The student is asked to compare West Indian texts with other novels in English or to compare West Indian short stories with other short stories in English. This section contains four questions, which, is, which has been changed from the six questions originally. One question is type A, which means that a type A question is that there's a single text that is used to answer the question. One question is from each prescribed novel, which equals two questions. Next is the type two, is a two type, sorry, is two type B questions, meaning that there is a comparison in, your, in, in the questions and you're expected to compare two short stories. Now, just as is similar to the poetry, one question is generic, which is based on stories of the student's choice from that prescribed list. And the second question is one that is based on two named short stories from the prescribed list also. You're expected under this section, as usual, to answer only one of the questions here. So, you would be expected to answer a short story question, a novel, and a novel. You're expected to answer either the short story question or the question that is set on the West Indian text. Now, each question here is worth 35 marks. Now, I hope you understood the changes, but if you didn't understand it quite well, please leave a comment below. Leave me some suggestions too on what we could start with first. Thank you so much for joining me as you start to prepare for, for your CXC exams. Early preparations will always result in less worries and more time to study for other subjects. Now remember to subscribe, like and share this video and we will go through the year going through the papers as early as possible. Thanks for watching.